Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here, back with another two minute Capture One video. Uh, sorry about the bit of a hiatus there. I had a piece of uh, hardware go awry on me and am working through that. Uh, so right now we're gonna talk about the gradient tool. So the gradient tool is available as uh, two types of tool, either a gradient mask or a circular mask, and you can apply these to an existing image. So this image of Rachel here, and I wanna apply the vertical gradient. Uh, you have two ways of doing it. One is hitting the G key or clicking this icon here and then drawing it. If you do not have a layer already created and you use this tool, one will be created for you. If you have a layer created, all the masks on that layer will be replaced with this mask. So I am right click where I want to start and I draw outward to form the gradient. I hit the M key to see what I'm doing. So you see most of this wall is covered and then the midpoint, everything will fade out from that point. Uh, so what I want to do here is every correction I make from this point forward will work on that mask. So I can lower the uh, brightness of this wall, for example, uh, so that I can kind of make it a less the star of the show here uh, than uh, wonderful Rachel. Now, as long as you have not drawn on this layer with a brush, you can go back and you can change it by clicking on the tool again and then make any corrections to the position of the mask that you would like. To give me an example of how the circular mask would work, let's take this image of Rachel that's almost done. Lower the exposure of the entire image a bit. Create a new layer. Hit T for the, I don't know, circular mask. <laughs> The circular mask. Uh, the line with the dots on it is the line again that is the uh, point at which everything will start to shift from being filled in to not being filled in and this is the amount of feather on the inside and the amount of feather on the outside. Hit M for mask you can see this. If you right click you may change this to draw the inside mask and then you'll have to redraw the mask again and it will draw it backwards. Now to get rid of the mask, don't hit the delete key, that actually deletes the image, so not handy. What you can do is go up to this ellipsis here and choose clear mask if you'd like to try again. So if I go here and I create a circular mask, hit M for mask, I can then increase the exposure just around the face for example. If I was looking to do something like this to try and feature a specific area of the image. I'm not a big fan of vignettes, but that's also personal preference. When you're done making changes to the shape, you can use the brush tool to make any modifications to the mask you would like. However, once you do that, you can no longer change the shape of the circle using the tools provided in Capture One, and you'll either have to start over or create a new layer. This is some great tools for retouching in Capture One for making broad changes to large areas, and it's nice because you don't have to go to Photoshop like you might in a lot of other raw applications. Everybody take care, and I'll get another video out soon.